Dun, dun, dun. Have you ever wondered where in the world your ancestors and your bloodline comes from? Well, I have. And I did the Ancestry.com DNA test to find out. So, stay tuned to my video to find out where in the world am I from. Hi guys, it's Nilly TV. Welcome back to my channel. OMG. Okay, I'm really excited to bring you this video today. Um, I actually recorded it the other day and there was, it was just so all over the place and just I decided to record today, long story short. So today I am going to tell you guys the results of my Ancestry.com DNA test. DNA test. I am often so frustrated because I feel like I have Groundhog Day most days because everywhere I go People are always so fascinated and questioning my ethnicity, nationality, all that sort of thing. So today, I am shutting it down already. People. So most of you guys probably already know what this Ancestry DNA test is. I'll go through a quick rundown and I don't want to make the video too long. Um, I have been wanting for the longest time to really know my exact genetic DNA makeup. Uh, because I am of a mixed race culture. Uh, my father is from the Philippines and I know pretty much all of our history from that side. I grew up with very immersed in my Filipino culture. Uh, I'm very close to my family. I've been back to the, to the Philippines numerous of times. And I've actually gotten the family tree, you know, seen our ancestral homes and things like that. So I'm pretty thorough on that. Uh, but for my mom's side, who is black American, I've always kind of like questioned and wondered about that because as I tell many people, black Americans, we know that we're black, but we just don't know exactly where our ancestral roots come from because of slavery. So when I'm around the world, people say, you know, what are you or what's your nationality? I go, oh, you know, I'm Filipino and black. And they go, well, what do you mean black? What kind of black? <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole other subject. I'm like, yeah, it's just American black. That's what, that's what we are. Um, anyway, so that's, that was my motivation for wanting to do this. And um, I gave it to myself for my birthday. It is $99 through Ancestry.com. I am not paid by them or anything. So, you know, you can choose whatever company that you want to. I just chose to go with them because I had been a member for quite a while just trying to do research on my family. Anyway, so you pay the $99. They send you a kit in the mail, which is pretty tiny. Um, it has activation code and then a tube, which you're supposed to spit into a certain line and then you're supposed to screw on this other liquid, shake it up, put it inside the mailer, and mail it off. I thoroughly screwed mine up. I for sure thought they were not gonna be able to get a DNA sample because when I went to screw the liquid on, first of all, nothing, like the solution didn't drop down into my saliva. So I was like, okay, let me try to unscrew this and then screw back on. And the moment I tried to unscrew it, all this liquid just started flowing out and I thought I lost most of it. So I just shook it up, sent it back in anyway. And thankfully just about, I wanna say a week ago, or less than a week ago, they said my results were ready. So they're they're pretty quick on everything. So let's dive into it. All right, so when I from the first video, I was unable to pull it up on my computer. For some reason, I kept being an error, but thankfully, they have a handy dandy app that you can use, okay? So when you open it up, once you get your results, I don't think you can see it. My face is taking up the focus, <laughs> my big head. Anyway, it says uh, Nalita's genetic ancestry. So. I am a mix of 13 different regions, yes, being a hybrid mixed race, and then two genetic communities. Alrighty, so here is the breakdown of what my ethnicity is. It says, I am, can you guess <laughs> before I go, it says, I am 46% African. So of course, you know, black American, we know that we came from the slave trade. That 46% breaks down into 13% Benin and Togo, which I'm pronouncing correct, 11% uh, Nigeria, 9% Senegal, and 13%, which breaks up into other places like Ivory Coast, uh, Cameroon, Mali, all this sort of stuff. So um, when you actually click on this, they give you a brief history on the region that they're telling you about. And funny enough, with Benin, Togo, and Nigeria, uh, when I read about it back in the 1600s, that was like the hub for taking slaves over to the Western Hemisphere. And when they did bring them, they brought them over to the Southern States, which is like South Carolina, North Carolina, which is where my family is from, where my mom is from. And actually, I was born in Durham, North Carolina, before I moved to LA. So all of that just made 
perfect sense. Um, and also, like, it was like kind of emotional bringing up a closing chapter to be like, okay, well, now I know like my, my heritage is from the Togo, Nigeria area, which is actually that hub. Um, and then it's funny because whenever I have traveled over to Africa or met other Africans, they're like, hmm, well, you look like you could be Nigerian or. Ghanaian or something like this, so uh, it, that, that makes a lot of sense. So th that was like a good little chapter to tell my mom, like, hey mom, this is where we come from. Um, and now just like, it makes me want to go to Nigeria and, and Benin and Togo and, and see, um, you know, what our, our, our roots and culture is. I know it's a lot different from where, our, you know, from a long time ago with our families, but it makes me want to go do that. Okay, so then, we're moving on. I am 33% Asian now that I know there's some more breakup weight. So that breaks down into 29% East Asian, which are several different regions that constitutes is like China, um, where else, Philippines, all of that sort of thing. Um, and then 4% South Asian, which is like Indian, Sri Lankan, and Bangladesh. Who was mixing the back of the day? I need to know. I love it. Um, so yeah, so that's 33% Asian. So then you break that down, it goes down to 16% goes to Pacific Islander. Okay, so now this makes it even more funny or interesting because growing up Filipino, there's this whole argument that we went through or like a lot of my friends went through where it was like, well, you guys aren't really Asian, you're Pacific Islanders. And then Pacific Islanders would be like, no, you're Asian. So it's like a lot of back and forth, you really don't know. Well, guess what? I'm both. <laughs> um, so yeah, so Polynesia or Pacific Islander, um, there's lots of different regions for that. That's like Samoa, Tongan, um, Philippines. And then, so wait, so going back, if you do math, doing math, that 46%, sorry, 33% Asian and 16% Pacific Islander makes me 49% pretty much Asian. Okay? And then you got 5% left over. Where's that 5% go to? The Iberian Peninsula, which is Spain and Portugal. Again, makes sense. Like, pretty much everything I've been saying my whole life and what I thought is, is correct with. Uh, the Iberian Peninsula is Spain, Portugal, even parts of North Africa. Um, and that is because the Philippines was ruled by Spain for over 300 years. And uh, I know for a fact, because I've already done my history and gone back, my great great grandfather is full blooded Spanish, so it looks like I got a little bit, a little, little, little bit of that in me. And my Lola always says, oh, you have the Spanish nose, Nilita. So <laughs> I think it's both. Um, so it was very interesting. So from this, like, I can just dive into so much because Ancestry.com just gives you all this information and it just really makes it very nostalgic. It makes you proud. And I, I'm kind of that firm believer in like that saying that they say it sounds corny, but it's true. You kind of don't know where you're going unless you know where you come from. Like, yeah, I know where I'm going, but it's, it's really a closing chapter to really know you know, I always, I'm a, I'm gonna be emotional. Uh, that my family, they've been through so much. I knew on the Filipino side we had been through so much, but the same thing with my black side, they, they were slaves and were brought to a country uh, without their will, like without their consent. So to just know that I come from people of struggle and fighting, I always tell people there's no reason that I shouldn't fight and there's no reason why I shouldn't just be the best and, and try to do as best as I can for my family because my ancestors, they went through so much. So the life that we live today is very easy when you think about it. We have like first world problems. So to me, it is very worth the $99. I always tell people you spend so much money on materialistic things you don't need, clothes, I mean, okay. You need things, but you know what I mean. Like when you go beyond your needs of buying certain clothes and going out partying, eating, and all that sort of stuff, you can save ninety nine dollars. You can find the ninety nine dollars for it. It's it's very very worth it. On top of that, they also connect you to relatives that you have the same genetic makeup as. So it could be like third cousin, second. There's even more on here. But tell me why they connected me to like 4,300 something people. So hello cousins, you're about to get a message from me on Facebook. All right guys, so that is basically it. I don't want to make a really long video. I just want to share with you my results. I kind of got teary eyed when I first did it. Obviously the second video is not going to be that way because I'm not going to try to make it. 
But uh, if you really like the video, if you enjoy kind of like sharing this experience with me, please hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I am working on bringing you guys videos every Thursday. Although I've been slow, I'm sorry, forgive me. It's a lot of transitions and things happening in my life right now. But I'm gonna try to get it going weekly. Subscribe to the channel and for daily updates, follow me on my Instagram at Melita V. And if you have any suggestions about videos and things that you'd like to see, Go ahead and put it down in the comments and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.